Good morning. It says in Matthew chapter 5, verse 8, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Jesus is in his Sermon on the Mount, telling us the steps to happiness. And this is a definite one. Blessed, happy are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. The psalmist says, who can say he has kept his heart clean? And um, it, it also says in the Psalms that who will ascend the hill of the Lord and who will enter his holy place? In other words, who will make it to heaven? And then it gives the answer, the man with clean hands and a pure heart. Well, that's none of us then, is it? Who of us can say we've kept our hands clean and our heart clean? No one. But before you despair, don't worry. There is one person who kept his hands clean and his heart clean. His name is Jesus. He never sinned. And he has ascended the mountain of the Lord for us and has stood in the holy place on our behalf so we can be saved. Thank you, Jesus. He also says to his disciples though now, you will be happy if you have a pure heart. Blessed are the pure in heart for they will see God. It's amazing how your heart is connected to your vision. I've known this so often in my own life that when my heart is unclean, that when there's any sin in my life or unforgiveness in my heart, then my vision is very unclear. I can't really see what God is asking me to do. I can't see the way forward. But when I repent and the precious blood of Jesus cleanses my heart, it always happens. Then I see clearly. I see vision. I know what to do. I know the next step. I'm blessed because I can see God. Someone said the heart of the issue is the issue of the heart. And it's true. It says in Proverbs, guard your heart for from it flow the issues of life. It is the center of your life. It says in Proverbs, my son, give me your heart. And we should do that today. We should give our hearts to the Lord, knowing that they're unclean and that they're hard and that they need to be changed. The answer for us, of course, is a new heart. In the new covenant, God promised in Ezekiel to give his people a new heart. He said, I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean. I'll cleanse you from all your uncleanness and all your idols and I will put a new heart in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh instead. And I'll put a new spirit in you and I'll put my spirit in you and move you to obey me. Wow, that's the answer. The answer is that we come with our heart the way it is, we confess it and we ask for God's grace and mercy to give us a brand new heart and a clean heart through the blood of Jesus and to give us his Holy Spirit to direct that soft new heart so that we do his will. It's a process of a lifetime and we need to keep doing it. And every time we do it, we're blessed. Every time the blood of Jesus cleanses our heart, we're blessed. Jesus said, blessed are the pure in heart. It's interesting, he didn't say pure in speech or pure in thought, because the speech and the thought come from the heart. If your heart is pure, everything else will be clear and clean, like crystal clear water. Let's ask today for a brand new clean heart from the Lord as a gift so we can see clearly the vision of God in our life. Lord, we thank you, Jesus, for your perfect heart that never sinned, that was pierced with a lance on the cross and out of it flowed blood and water to save us, to cleanse us. Thank you, God, for the precious blood of Jesus that takes away all of our sins we bring our hearts to you, Lord, in whatever state they're in today. Confused, deceived, dark, unclean, 
hard, bitter, and we ask you to change them and take away that stony heart. We ask you right now, Lord, that you give us a brand new heart, a clean heart, and that we would live seeing you clearly, would be blessed with the purity of heart that you give as a gift. In Jesus' name, amen.